Welcome to another episode of Data Star. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, do it now so that you never miss an update on a new episode. Let's jump into today's episode of Data Star. Welcome everyone to another episode of Data Star and we are in the series in which we are covering data science roles at IT services companies. So far we have covered Accenture, we have covered IBM, we have covered ECS. Uh, today we have another big IT services company uh, in India, HCL. HCL as you would know employs a huge number of people in India and uh, we are going to analyze this uh, role. So join me in this episode make sure that you're totally focused make sure that you're listening to me carefully each insight that i share in the each one of these episodes is going to be helpful for you in some way or the other so i want your full attention so let's jump into this role this is role is data science lead uh or data science lead slash analytics role at hcl technologies hcl has one of the biggest bases out of noida noida and which is in delhi ncr uh, and you will be based out of the NOIDA office for this particular role. Now, the first thing that you would see here is that the way this role is worded, I would have wanted it to be written in this way, data science slash analytics lead. But I don't know why this has been written as data science lead slash analytics. But anyway, it's a very small thing. Let's jump into uh, the role. So the role is data science lead based out of NOIDA. And now you would see that it has come chain me. So Again, as I've been saying about some of the roles that have been posted by these IT services companies, that the attention to detail is usually missing. The spelling of location is wrong. And the same thing, if you remember, we had seen in one of the TCS videos also. So now they are saying that this is open for JNA also. So great. No problem with that. We Our goal is just to analyze and to understand. So uh, we'll keep on moving ahead. So now let's look at the responsibilities that you would be undertaking here. So as a lead, you should first of all have experience in data science for this role and particularly building scalable forecasting models, right? So most likely the kind of work that they are looking at doing is some kind of forecasting, right? And that's why one of the things that I always keep on emphasizing in my these data star series is that each role that you would have seen has some keywords that they keep on repeating again and again. If you remember one of the videos that we had done for Gartner, there the focus was on uh, retention at Walmart Labs. It was about APIs and reusable uh, data science products. And the entire role is somehow centered around that. Here I see uh, when I went through this entire job description, the focus was a little bit on forecasting. So I'm assuming that they will be doing a lot of that here. Second point about this job is that uh, they have uh, that what is written is that you need to identify and integrate new data sets that can be leveraged through our consulting and advisory capabilities. And you need to work with our team to strategize and execute the development of data products. So that's what you will be doing in this role. Right. So it's a very fairly standard uh, kind of role. Nothing rocket science there. Third is communicate analytics solution to stakeholders. Again, you will be interfacing with HCL's clients because HCL is a, a services company. It is usually consulting other clients that they have across Europe, etc. So most likely you will be interfacing with these clients and you'll be doing this work for HCL's client. Proficiency with data mining, maths, statistics. So they have just written forecasting again, as I said, sometimes you can very, very, very well see from the JD itself, right? That what is the focus point? And here you can clearly see that the focus point is forecasting. And another keyword that they mentioned is long-term inventory for forecasting and short-term inventory forecasting. So this most likely clearly is a project for a retail client, right? I may be wrong, but to me, it seems like clearly a project for a retail cloud. After that, what has been mentioned is strong programming and data management skills with experience in statistical or math, mod, mathematical modeling and database development experience with Python, no other technology. So, so I find this a little funny, no other technology the way it is written, but they are clearly writing that you need to be good in Python and you should have done data science in no other technology, no, even not even R, not even MATLAB, but only Python. So good to see the way it is written no other technology so now let's look at the skill set that is required uh, you should have deep experience in some specified algorithms right so what they are basically saying is that 
you should be good in others but you should know arima lstm exponential smoothing neural networks auto regression now if you see that some of these things are in the purview of data science and some of these things are in the purview of deep learning neural networks also right now from a data science perspective so that what you are expected is you need to have some skills in data science time series forecasting plus you need to know a little bit of deep learning also and this is uh, something that you are expected to know both these areas are you are expected to know in this and those of you who are undergoing the gcdi program that's why possibly you will love applying for these kind of roles because you are acquiring both data science and ai skills here the second thing that is mentioned is good to have is excellent understanding of machine learning techniques and algorithms such as knn naive base svm decision for us these are other machine learning techniques that you should know and that's how they have written and must have high level proficiency in building scalable forecasting models using python so what they are looking at is you should not only just use time series or uh, arima to build the modeling what uh, to build machine learning models what they are saying is that if you are doing any of this you should be able to do it on a scalable way that means you should be able to apply this in production level machine learning system production level machine learning system and and i would say that not only for this role but overall more and more companies today are wanting you to know production level data science at least the bare basic you, you should know that you should have pushed the product into production and that's why once when you are doing the capstone project during your gcd program or gcdi program take that very seriously because that will put you in touch with the uh, real production level data science environment so overall all in all this seems like a good position for someone who knows these specific uh, algorithms that they have mentioned this to me that anyone who has worked in data science for one or two years is a good fit and you should have an overall experience of 5 to 7 years and overall i think that this is a great position to apply for if you are starting in data science right now and you have completed your certification you should have at least say 5 to 10 years of previous experience in some other domain and you should have couple of good projects that you should have executed in specific areas like time series forecasting etc that they have mentioned otherwise if you already are working in data science for one to for the for uh, for the last one to two years that's even better and or if you're working as a data analyst and you have done similar kind of statistical modeling and if you have worked on some machine learning uh, projects as well this is a great fit for for you right so my a recommendation is it services companies are a great fit for starting your journey into data science and if you're already working as a lead apply for the stroll don't think too much have good portfolio get your basics right first if your basics are right chances of selection are very good so this was an analysis of a data science lead or analytics lead role at hcl i hope you found this analysis helpful and uh, let me know if you did by dropping is dropping me an email you you already know my email manavetinsight.co and if you have any questions and if you want me to cover another company that i have not covered so far let me know that as well happy to do that thank you very much for watching this episode of data star look forward to seeing you in another episode 